Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Pulpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Underrail. This is episode 6, and it is Christmas time, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you all for joining me here at the Freak Show for Christmas, if indeed you have done so. And, yeah, stuff is going on. Things are happening. Now, I realize it's the holidays. I'm not sure if everyone has time to watch. But I noticed that, well, there's always a giant fall-off from episode 1 to episode 2 and so on and so forth. But the numbers are really not that great for this particular series. I was expecting this to be one of my more popular ones, and the numbers are pretty abysmal. So I'm going to go through to the new year. I'm going to keep playing this and doing what I plan to do with it. But if the numbers don't pick up after the new year, I might end up canceling this series, which makes me a little bit sad. But don't fret, guys. We're still going to be probably 5, 10 more episodes in before that happens, or I consider that a reality. So, hopefully people start watching a bit more and all that other wonderful fun stuff. So, with all that being said, let's head back down this way, get back to our town, I guess, and turn in the mission. Perhaps you only recover from a controlled area. I don't know if that's a thing. Like, I, I swear we were regenerating once upon a time, but that seemed to have only happened once, literally once upon a time. All right. How did I get here? Oh, I went the wrong way. My bad. Okay, I know where I'm at, guys. I know what I'm doing. Sorry, I thought that was the way back to town, but town is actually... Town is actually to the north. I know. Or, well, to what I would assume is kind of the northwest. But in actuality, this is north, this is west, this is east, and this is south. So, to the west. The west is where it's at. Alright, we're going to go to the electronic lock, and we're going to click that, and then we're going to come inside. And it's going to open, and then we're going to be able to casually walk on in. Malcolm, brother. Hold on, I want to talk to Malcolm. I'm not done yet. Hey, open the gate. I'm ready to go. No, alright, not right now. Let's get back up to the place where we need to be. Do I have to, like, sheathe my weapon or anything? Nope. All right, I believe we're going to go to, wasn't it the commons? I think it was the commons. We're going to go to the commons, and we're going to turn our quest in, hopefully, to the correct individual, which I believe this is indeed the right place. It should be straight down the hallway. We left the door open and everything for expedited uh, return. He nods, studs McGee. I've reactivated the power generator in all the stations I could find. Um, yeah, that. Good work, Studs McGee. We can now start the restoration process. Here are your credits. Excellent, so what's next on the agenda? There are a few more jobs waiting for you, actually. Brett needs someone to do a hopper roundup. I'll instruct you on exactly what you need to do and how to do it. Go speak with him on the agronomy level. After you've completed this task, come and see me again. I had a couple of questions, actually. Alright, understood. So the agronomy level... Is that anything like the trigonometry level or something? Also, I was planning on going back to the other area and getting all those boxes I was unable to open. Alright, let's go to the agronomy and pens level. And I want to take a look at what the controlled area says here. Setting traps or planting explosives near other characters might provoke them. If members of certain factions take damage from your traps or explosives, they will automatically track it back to you and will turn hostile. If members of certain factions discover traps or explosives planted by you, they will automatically track it back to you and will turn hostile. Also, if you blow up people, it's generally frowned upon. Just saying. Okay, well I could probably pick that lock. It doesn't look like anything is watching me here. There's Quentin, that's not the person I need to talk to. You come up to a, a rangy, sure, a rangy man with long hair, cutting a part of a creature's head. Okay. A moment later, red blood mixed with some greenish fluid drips out of the cut, and the man extracts a, a long spine. As he puts it aside, he notices you. Careful, you don't want to get in contact with this toxin. He turn, uh, returns to cutting through the creature as he talks to you. My name's Quentin. Don't bother introducing yourself. I know who you are. You're Studs McGee, and you just got admitted to the station. I'd shake your hand, but you can see why that wouldn't be a good idea. What kind of creature is that? It is a burrower. 
It's one nasty creature that digs around, laying eggs all over the place. Alright. There are more numerous deeper underground, but you can still get a few roaming the lower underrail and the surrounding caves. If you meet one, be careful. It will spit thick, hard spines at you that are coated with poison. Okay, what exactly are you doing? I'm collecting its poison glands. We can use it to produce other chemicals or to coat crossbow bolts. Huh. What's in that room over there? We're growing mushrooms of different kinds. Of course, most notably the mind shrooms. They are one of the most potent and certainly one of the most safest psionic catalysts. The largely popular psi boosters are made from mind shrooms, in case you didn't know. Okay, do you have anything to trade? He stops working, setting the knife aside, and carefully removes his gloves. Of course! Bada. You do have a lot of stuff. Okay, so from what I was told... You can see what people are currently looking to buy. And it tells you up here, four raw, le letter, bleh, four raw leathers, six organs, two blueprints, and four chemicals. And you can see what they're willing to buy out of the stuff that we have. So I think I'm going to actually do exactly that. And trade him those things. And it also somebody pointed out that things that they're willing to buy are circled inside of our inventory. So as you see here, that's kind of exactly what's going on. Now I'm not sure I want to sell the blueprints just yet. I think what I'm going to do is sell the adrenal gland maybe. Uh, 30 each, these are 90 each. And let's see how much we can actually get for that. We'll auto this. 117. Alright, we'll trade that out. We just made ourselves some cash money. It's actually quite a bit of cash money out of that whole ordeal. It's actually worth 5,800. So we're looking pretty solid right now. Feeling pretty good about it. Alright, what I'm going to continue to do now is close my inventory there. They're growing the mine shrooms. This is not what I was supposed to be doing here. It looks like there's something maybe on the shelves here I can snag up. Nope, it's empty. What's over here? Hey, it's open. There's lots of boxes and barrels in here. Oh, what is this? A throwing net. That sounds exciting. Throw a net at a target in an attempt to immobilize it for up to four turns. Well, depending on the target's strength. I will take that if I'm allowed. It looks like I am. Oh, what is this? A dog crate? Attempt to capture the target inside the crate. This will only work on certain small, non-hostile creatures. Sure, I'll take that too, I guess. Might as well. If we have the inventory space, might as well utilize it, right? Ooh, ooh what is that? A green grenade. A frag grenade case. I am totally taking that as well. Alright, what is this thing? Electronic repair kit? Yeah. Look, I am all about stealing things that don't belong to me and using them for things that should belong to me. Alright, there's a better than not chance that the individual we're looking for is in here. Big old Brett. Big Brett. Hey, there's a cave hopper. Alright, what's up, cave hopper? Alright, Big Brett, what do you got for me, buddy? Talk to me. You must be Studs McGee. They call me Big Brett. I think our name works perfectly for this dystopian future. I really do. So, you passed all the tests, I see. Couldn't have been easy. Those were just getting harder and harder in recent years. They were pretty hard, but I like challenges. I'm just really glad I made it. I think they were just the right difficulty. You wouldn't want just anyone in here, right? It was a breeze. They could have given me a day off. I've been running their tests for weeks. Eh, they were pretty hard, but I like challenges. You're going to love it here, then. So what brings you to the pens? Do you have anything to trade? Barter. Indeed you do. All sorts of stuff. Eight plants or fun guy? Well, I'm a pretty fun guy, but no. Um, eh. Eh. Alright, that's not what I wanted. Um, I've been tasked with helping you with Hopper Roundup. Very good. So, say, have you ever captured a hopper? Nope. First, go to the storage room. It's a room with the two entrances just across the hallway, and get some dog crates. You will need them to hold your quarry. Getting them inside won't be easy, though. As soon as they sense you're coming, they'll scurry off and crawl through the crevices in the cave wall. 
so you'll need to sneak up on them and immobilize them with a net. You'll find those in the storage room as well. Take as many as you need. Alright, you can also try to sneak up on them, but it's not easy. Your hunting ground is the Mushroom Cove. Head south from the Crossroad Watch and turn right at the first chance. You'll come across a big cavern with a lake. I'll need three healthy specimens. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, I've also sent a young man called Newton to catch some hoppers. It's been a while. See if you can find him and learn what's taking him so long. Okay, I guess I'll get right on it. Let's do it. Let's go see if we can't catch ourselves some hoppers. It sounds like a totally legit and perfectly humane thing to do to whatever hoppers specifically are. Should I pick this lock? I feel like I should. What do you guys think? Actually, I don't think I can. What is my lock picking at? It's not high enough for that, is it? Do I have... Does it show me my lock picking skills? It doesn't seem to. Eh, hey, you know what? It's fine. Alright, who cares? Focus on the mission at hand. We're gonna go down to the cave, tunnel, and exit. Anyway, folks, so between now and... I'll try to get another episode up by the end of today and see how that all plays out, but... Eh, you know how things are, guys. You know how things are. Stuff happens. Holidays appear out of nowhere, I know. It's not like we haven't been waiting for this the entire year. But you get the idea. Stuff happens. I was actually away today, which doesn't normally happen. I was I was away almost all evening this evening, so I didn't get any of the, the regularly scheduled recording done. Which is totally fine, and, you know, I've accepted to move on, or moved on here. Alright, so south is this way. We should also probably place these things onto our bars, I would think. I'm going to wait here, and I'm going to put the net here, and I'm going to put the dog crate here, yes, it is okay, and then we're going to go this way, and it's going to be fine. Run like the wind, Binky! The sentry's there, alright, so what we're going to need to do is go stealth immediately. So we don't get attacked, killed, murdered, or anything of that nature. We're not able to go stealthy yet. The hopper seems to be chewing on stuff. Alright, I'm gonna try to capture him. Apparently it didn't work. Okay, well we gave it a shot. That's totally okay. We'll wait it out until he comes back. There he is. And we're going to try to use our net, which apparently is not usable the way I have it. There we go. We're going to capture you with a throwing net, sorry. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to claim you with our box that didn't seem to work. Okay, well, we'll try with the box again. Hey, we've captured you. Yay, we're heroes. All right, we figured it out. We know what's going on. We can end combat, and we are superheroes, as I've already stated in the past. All right, we are now superheroes that are stealthy again. There's a lot of weird mushrooms around here. We should probably... Oh, gosh. They seem to be aware that we exist. Alright, I'm going to take your lake mushrooms, and I'm going to steal them. And it is going to be glorious. Alright, well, unfortunately, this dude seems to be, like, rolling up on me. He's like, yeah, I know you're there, buddy. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna pull a fast one on me. Alright, what I think I'm gonna do is roll out over here. And this looks like a totally normal, perfectly fine thing. Alright, and bam! Get cave hopped, fool. Alright, gonna roll out over here and I'm gonna try and capture this one before he runs away. Can't do it yet, so he's gonna run away now. That's okay. We can still capture this bad boy right here. Yeah, captured another cave hopper. Like a boss. Alright, we will uh wait here until we can go stealth again. 
And it seems kind of like a silly mission, but it, it'll work. I am totally accepting that this is going to be an okay thing. Dude, just like run around. I want to eat cave mushrooms. It's what I do. I came here for the mushrooms. I came here for the mushrooms. And captured again, fool. How many do we need to capture? Let's take a peek here. Uh, three. I think we've captured four. No, we've captured three. All right, that's all we needed to do. So what we're gonna do now is go st go into stealth mode. We're gonna look around for big old Brett and see what we can find. Do we claim any of the? Oh, we did. We got some lake mushrooms. Yeah. We're gonna make sure we grab up a bunch of those so we can sell them if need be. All right, let's hope we can find uh, Newton out here. I don't know where he's going to be at. I don't know if he's going to be doing something or not doing something, but whatever's going on, get out of here. These are my mushrooms. You don't get any. Well, it seems like this is the next logical place to go. And we're going to once again... Oh, what is that thing? That's a... I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, I'm terrified, though. That's probably one of those psionic beetle things that they were telling me about to be careful of. So I'm going to try very, very, very hard to be careful of the beetles of doom. Can I get the mushroom without triggering or breaking stealth? It looks like I can. What do you guys think my odds are of defeating this creature? Probably fairly low when I... Oh, crap. Well, I guess we're going to be going into combat here. Oh, we have, like, no chance at all of killing this guy. All right, um... Where are all my throwing knives? I would have preferred to have not lost my throwing knives. But that's okay. Equipping weapons and utility items from inventory during combat costs a whole bunch of action points. Don't I have more than 50? Nope. I do not. Okay, well, I'm going to move down here. And then I'm going to casually shoot at you again because I have very bad aim. And I'm probably never going to be able to hit you. So, we're going to do that. We're going to swap a... Oh, natural overload. Or, or is that neural overload? I don't know. Neural overload. That's not great. All right, well, we're going to walk up on you and stab you once. Oh, gosh, that does, like, zero damage. Oh, there we go. We got a crit there. That's nice. I like that. All right, what's next? Oh, you're going to back away? You're going to do your neural overload again? You think that's going to be enough to take me down? I don't think so. I'm just getting started. I'm actually getting owned right now. It's not great. Okay, additionally, I think maybe we need to pull this bad boy back out. Because it looks like we may be needing it soon. Eh, it's not really that bad. Yeah, critical hit like crazy. We're so close, guys. We're so close. Oh, he's going to go hide behind a rock where we can't actually see him with our camera angle. It's okay. One, two, and die. Yeah, we defeated him, but man, that was, that was pretty messy. All right, well, let's go grab up some lake mushrooms because we've earned it. Stop eating our mushrooms. We want them for us. There's some Barney rubble over there to the left. Actually, can we cross the water? Oh, we totally can. Oh, we should probably be in stealth, though. We should probably also stab ourselves with a needle to make ourselves a little bit more healthy. There's a cave hopper over there, junk pile, mine shrooms. There's a weird outpost looking thing over here, too. And it looks like we can go back into stealth. All right, I'm going to open this door. I'm going to read this sign real quick. I'm going to try. North is a junkyard. Please don't do that. I hate when you guys run into me like a bunch of maroons. Oh, no. Oh, you saw me, you swine. Oh, gosh. Hey, they can critically hit, too. That's not cool. All right. Well, I guess we're going back into combat again. I never did put my uh, throwing knives on my bar again. Because I'm a horrible human person that fails at doing the most simplest of tasks. 
Maybe we can get out of this without getting below 40%. I think we're already below 40, aren't we? No, we're at 50. Okay. That looks lower than 50, but what do I know? One, two, three, and four, and that's it. Ow, critical hit again. Oh, man, we're close to death here. But he's closer to death. Yeah. I want your body. Give it to me. What is that horrible looking thing? An insectoid salivarium? Sure. That doesn't sound creepy at all. Let's take it. All right, looks like we're going to be using another health hypnotherapist. It's going to be fine. Uh, is there a way to open this door? No. Oh, there we go. We can enter the building from there. There's a junk pile over here. Ooh, what is this? A couple pieces of uh, bullets there that we can eventually make. Another barrel, a snag up of the mine shroom of doom. There's a junk pile down here. Some more lake shroomage and all sorts of other various things. Junk pile, go! No. Barrel. What is this? Periscope part. Hey, it's an oddity. We get 150 experience and we get some caltrops up in the place. I am liking that. All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? We are looking at returning this to its proper spot. There it is. Yay for in combat things that are out of combat. Accessible. Eh, I hate the way the camera doesn't completely lock to, this, to the uh, screen like it's supposed to. It does, but it, it actually lets you go just slightly further before it jumps back, and that's what causes that weird sporadic thing. A trilobite fossil, alright. Or a trilobite fossil. I will totally take that and use it. And now we're going back into stealth mode. We're gonna go through this doorway and see what's on the other side. Apparently an actual whole new area is on the other side. Alright, I don't know what we need to be doing right now, but we're getting pretty close to our next level, and I'm excited about that. There's a switch, which I'm going to try to flip. It's apparently stuck, so that's not going to happen. There are shelves over here. And there are things in the shelf. A warehouse inventory list. 150 experience for that. An electromagnetic discharger. Uh, okay. And an adaptive lens. This is a standard auto adaptive lens that enhances mid to long range vision of any eye. Sounds very modifiable. Nothing there. And to the shelves. What is here? More random pieces of stuff. Okay. Well, there's a blood pool over here, which does not look very appealing to me. And there's, oh good, another one of these wonderful beetles that I love so very much. Oh gosh, he's going to see me. No, don't see me. Alright, well, looks like we have to go and do battle with him. Uh-oh. What just happened? Why, huh? Is this thing like a super ultra mega death thing? I mean, what what the heck just happened there? Did my knife break? I don't... I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. Oh gosh, what's it going to do to me? Oh, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it's not good, obviously. We'll throw our knife. Did a little bit of damage. Oh, that did a lot more damage. Yeah, get some throw knife action going on right here. Is that all we got? Seems like it. All right. Okay, neural overload again. Oh, double neural overload. That's not cool. You can't do stuff like that. Well, hopefully we survive whatever's next. Oh, no. They can chew on me, too? All right, I think we're going to have to use our uh, little healing dealie there. Why do we do so little bit of damage to this one? I wonder what the deal is. Is it like a higher level bug or something? Hmm. Seems weird. We missed. All right, well, I'm going to step back. I'm going to chuck stuff at him. There it is. Seems to do a little bit more damage than uh, going melee with the guy. 
I'm gonna try the melee this time. There it is. All right, we crushed him, but man, that guy was super difficult. What was that all about? All right, let's open it up, use some bandages here. Oh, we're still in combat. Hold on. There we go. We just what, click on ourselves. There it is. And that's it. Okay, we're going to walk over here casually to the barrel. And it looks like we got ourselves a dirty rag. Awesome. Not really, but it's something. Man, I can't believe that thing was so tanky. Oh, there's another one, too. Let's try to avoid it for now. I'd rather not use up all my uh, resources just killing a couple of bugs. That apparently really, really, really don't like me. This place seems pretty legit for a scary, scary office. There's lots of blood and lots of these weird, nasty bugs laying around trying to murder us. Alright, let's see if we can't get into the office. And then there's a pretty good chance that once we do get inside here, if nothing's horribly awful in here, we're going to probably have to break it off. Alright, there's a locker over here. Requires some lock picking, which thankfully we have some lock picks. And we're really, really, really close to leveling up, too. Which I think is going to help us tremendously. Like, when we level up, we should be much better. Oh, look at that. We got a pistol. Yeah! It's awesome. I was hoping to get that at some point. Hey, this one was actually open. What is this thing? An old diver's helmet. Weird. Alright, we go over here and get the desk thing. And what is that? An energy pistol frame. Well, that's pretty neat. Or nifty, if you will. Alright, I don't want the SMG. I feel like a minimal weapon skill is 30. We're probably not skilled enough for that. So let's throw this in here. We can sell that later. Can I... Oh, I totally just... Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know I could do that. Alright, cool. Alright, let's load this bad boy up. There it is. All right, wait, wait, I skipped a locker. Shame on me. Shame on me, folks! There's nothing in it. It's about right. All right, we're going to continue on down. Like I said, I really like to level up, but I'm also very terrified of these creatures. I'm going to try to initiate combat right there. Oh, we're right on top of them. Eh. Yeah, we do, like, zero damage at point blank. All right, he's going to back off, and we're going to be able to chuck some daggers at him. It's going to be a little bit better, I think. Dagger throw! Dagger throw again. I'm going to actually try shooting them with our pistol. I think it's going to be a little bit better this time. Not much better. Like, we don't have much chance to actually hit him. I'm going to still try it a couple times just to see if it if we actually land a shot. Oh, it doesn't do any better than our throwing weapon. Oh, we don't have enough action points? That's so weak. Alright, I'm going to move right here. Hopefully we don't, like, aggro another group of these things. Because that would not bode well for us. Alright, we're going to keep throwing daggers at you. I'm not sure exactly why they, uh... Why they are so ridiculously tanky. But it is mildly inconvenient, to be sure. Double neural overload, and that probably dropped me below the... I can heal from my bandage threshold. Oh! Big critical hit there. Well played. Well played. What is this thing? A Psy Beetle Carapace. I will take that, and I will do this. Is there a resting button? I don't know. I'll probably look at some controls after this, guys. Between this episode and the next, see if there's anything that I've completely missed. Hey, it's Newton. What's up, Newton? A terrified man leaps out of the dark corner and begins slashing the air in front of him. His shirt and pants are stained with blood, and you see a piece of cloth tied around his thigh, below which a large wound grins. At ins or an instant passes, and the man retracts his knife and stares at you. A sigh of relief precedes his words. Ah, it's not a sigh bug. I almost got a heart attack, thank goodness. Are you Newton? Big Brett sent me out here to find you. You've been out of SGS for a while now. Yes, yes, I'm Newton. Don't even mention Big Brett to me. He sent me to catch those stupid hoppers. I guess I went too far to the west and ran into Cybugs. He never told me about them. 
Why didn't you run away? I did. I started running around. Hey, the bug surrounded me. I ended up in this pla- Suddenly he clenches his teeth in pain. Ah, and I cut my legs somewhere along the way. I, I stopped the stupid bleeding, but I can barely walk. Why the hell are we still talking? Can you get rid of all those damn bugs so I can safely get out of here? I can't run, and I most certainly can't fight. Well, I think they're all dead. Yeah, sure. I'll be back once the road is clear. You're a bigger hopper than the ones you were sent to catch, but I'll see what I can do. Don't take too long. I'll wait here. All right, guys. So we'll finish off with the side bugs in uh, the next episode. Aw, oh, we could have used the explosive barrel. That would have been so much better than my plan. Of course, knowing me, I would have blown myself to bits. So, eh. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll finish off the side bug thing. We'll lead this guy out, and we'll turn in our quests. We'll definitely level up, and everything will be sweet, sweet, nice style. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a great Christmas. Thanks for stopping by the free show on Christmas, if indeed you did so. And I will see you guys again, well, with more stuff today, more stuff tomorrow, more stuff throughout the rest of the year, and into the new year. Anyway, until the very next episode, folks, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the free show, and I will see you later.